I've stumbled onto a great campsite here at Linton Station called Linga Longa Farm Stay. They have accommodation for travellers and powered and non-powered sites for us caravanners. I've received a warm greeting from Jenny, the owner and operator, and she was happy to share the history of this hidden gem. Well, it's all very peaceful here at Linton Station this morning, but when you have a look at the historic infrastructure around, I dare say it wasn't always as quiet as it is. Jenny, what happened here once? Oh, this one used to be a hive of activity. In 1853, the convicts were brought directly from England and brought here to start, um, open up the country with agriculture, mining, building, and up to 60 convicts were here um, in the first batch. And they walked out here, found this hill, quarried the rock out of the end of the hill and built the town at the front gate. So that was the town of Linton. It's remarkable, isn't it? I mean, yeah. back in the day before cranes and forklifts and all those things, all this was built. The buildings here at Linton Station are the original structures dating back 170 years, like the one we're standing in front of. This is a barn that was built in 1853. They had up to 100 horses, because everything was horseback then. And um, the convicts went from here to the Geraldine Mine, which is two days on horseback up near the Galena Bridge. They would come back with an ox train full of lead, a week's journey back round the Pink Lake into Port Gregory. Someone in England decided that this was a place that we have to bring convicts to. Yeah. What's the history of that? Why choose here? Well, the port, the port of Port Gregory is a quite a unique port. It's a natural port and um, was easy to bring the ships in and they were well protected. The port may have been well protected, but the reef was the cause of many shipwrecks, which you can research here in the barn that's Neon Museum. A lot of people don't know the history of this area, so they, they can walk through it here and go, wow, this is amazing. We can walk through a building that's 160 years old, you know, out in the outback. Not all the structures have been restored, but you can walk through the ruins of the town and imagine what it was like to live here in the 19th century. So what would a normal day have been like here back in that day? Well, when you go down to the depot, um, like the, there's a, a, a ruins of an old town there and it's got a hospital, a jail, a blacksmith shop, um, a magistrate's quarters, um, the commissariat, um, the bakery, and they would have been building, quarrying the rock out of the end of the hill and building and feeding the builders that were, were doing this and looking after the horses and it would have been a hive activity and then sending some of them off to work at the at the at Geraldine Mine, which the Galena Bridge, Galena means lead ore. The convicts took pride in their work and there's evidence of that still today. The convicts worked really hard. On the end of this building is a convict um, trademark, an arrow, just about six feet from the peak, where they put their trademark, anything was built by convicts. So tell us about the house on the hill, because it's, it's quite an imposing building, isn't it? It's a beautiful building. Um, Captain Sanford owned this land, and he also was put in charge of running the whole depot. He, he was pretty tough, but I guess you had to be in those days. And so while he had the convicts here, he built a house on the hill. But it wasn't on the hill to oversee the convicts. It was for another reason. He started the first whaling station in Port Gregory. So I guess if you saw a whale, you ran down the hill, found your horse, saddled your horse, jumped on your horse, rode into Port Gregory, found your rowboat, got on your rowboat, rowed out, found the whale, harpooned the whale, brought it in and processed it. Tough day at work. And apparently for the first year, they caught one whale. All this happened in just three years. So what became of the settlement? Once it was closed down as a convict depot, um, Sanford um, leased it out and there's been many owners over the last 160 years. We've been here for 12 years um, and we just got a thousand acres. Along with the history, Jenny also has what caravan is looking for. So tell us about the place in a nutshell. <laughs> well, we're standing on Sanford House. This is the farm state, Lingalonga at Linton Station. We have lots of people come here and um, check out the history just as day visitors. Have a few stay overnight, um, caravan and camping. Um, need to book because we've got limited space for that. And um, yeah, it's a great place. It's quite central to Kalbarri National Park, to all of the history. Um, Horrocks, Northampton, famous for the AFL footballers. And um, yeah, we have lots of fun with the tourists. It's a pretty peaceful place, isn't it? You know what, Jenny, but it's quite often said, and life's the same, it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. So on your journey to the Pink Lake, a little crack in the spot to stop and uh, take a little bit in that you didn't know existed. And the people you meet along the way. <laughs>